We're here at um, Indiana Qualification Tournament 1 with Team 15455 Crimson River Boreals from Avon, Indiana. They just came off of the state high score, uh, currently ranked 1 going into picking. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. So our strategy this year was if we can't do it in auto, we can't do it in driver control. So auto was our main focus, which is why we have a lot of sensors on our robots. And as we score in auto, that just sets us off on the right tone. We have scoring 32 in auto and then those getting counted again and teleop and then our goal is just score as many into the top basket in teleop as possible because if we can go really really fast in teleop scoring in the high basket that two point difference between scoring a high clip is negated now on to how the bot works so we have an intake here these wheels roll up so this these wheels have like gone through various like iterations of like rubber bands and all that stuff and then once we get into the pass through these wheels go in, they drop the sample, and they go back out, and then the lift raises up, yeah. And then it dunks. So part of the, what, how we have gotten like, like su such high scores in both teleop and auto is that we have our drivers just press a single button to either like intake and then say when the intake is, is finished and have a single button to raise the lift and do the dunk and then put it all back down. So it takes a lot of like load and pressure off the drivers, like Andrew can probably say. Yeah, yeah. not lower stress. Yeah, and that's a really like important like component of our programming this, this year. And so I think that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, um, one of the things I noticed right off the bat was that um, you guys have a lot of really cool cable management stuff. You have this cable chain. Could you talk me through how you guys chose um, how to make it easy to work on your robot? I mean, so first we had our practice bot and you probably won't be. So on our practice bot, we had the expansion hub on this side and our, our control hub on this side, I'm, right? Yep. Yeah. And then we moved it to like this on the comp bot, so then all the wires were in the same place. And then, so our, on our extend here, we needed a good way for um, the wires to get onto the slides. And this was like really the only way to keep the wires contained in one place and to extend with it. So it, it was, I, I think it was really the only viable option for wire management on this type of slide. Uh, one of the things that makes your autonomous so powerful is that you guys are really, really stable when these slides and when this arm is all the way out extended. Um, what have you guys done to try to make that uh, more stable, to try to eliminate backlash, to make sure that you're always getting those in that arm? So one like very intentional thing we did is we ended up putting our battery as far forward and away from the control hub and expansion hub as possible because these are quite heavy being all the electronics and we have a lot of weight in the back. And also with this being extended, it just kind of happened where to dunk, we had to move that out. But that also takes a lot of weight away from our center of gravity, creating a very good balancing force between all this weight in the back. And then this extended out adds a lot of very, it's very balanced. Yeah, um, one of the things that uh, I noticed is that you guys use some custom parts here and here and uh, all the way on your intake. Could you walk me through how you guys designed those um, and what was the goals with those? Yeah, so we first started on Fusion designing and going through iterations because on Fusion we can put the Go Build a parts directly into Fusion so we don't have to worry about how stuff's gonna mesh. and. This cut, these red custom parts that you see all across our bot were 3D printed. 
and these black parts were cut on our laser cutter out of ABS plastic. That's really cool. Could you talk me through how you do the um, how you do the belting on your slides and arm? Yeah, so on this one, it kind of worked out. So we used this ABS plastic again up here, and we were able to adjust where the height was because the Go Build a Metal didn't put it at the right height for us to be able to get the right belt tension. So we designed this custom to allow for our own height. But then down here on our dunk, we we wanted to keep it in the Go Build a stuff. So we just added a little thing to make it have tension that allows it to roll. And that allowed us to not have to design a completely custom part and just add some tension to the belts. That's really cool, thank you. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? So for sensors, we uh, in localization, we use the IMU in the control hub. And we have a dead wheel like right there and right uh, down here. Yeah, down there, just, yeah, in there. And then for our heading, we use the IMU in the control hub. It's really accurate and it's great. And then, the and then, and then for our like intaking, we have like uh, color sensors inside this intake here. So we, we plan to use those on in the future, but uh, we don't like use them much right now. It, they have like they're it's putting values into telemetry, but we aren't like using them too much now. That's all really cool. Thank you. I wish you guys the best of luck on your playoffs journey. Um, going in as rank one. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots.